So we'll get started in child's pose. Bring your big toes to touch. Spread your knees a little or a lot. Start investigating your body early on. How are the hips responding? How are the knees responding? And not just going through the motions of your practice, you're investigating here. You're taking time to ask yourself how you're feeling, to allow a few breaths for a body scan, a scan of the heart, and a scan of the brain. And let's get intentional here about setting and creating the energy field that we'll release into and draw from. So if there's anything that you notice in this moment coming up that you'd like to pause or shift away while you enjoy your practice, please go ahead and start to guard your space. And if you feel comfortable enough to close your eyes, please do so. And we'll take three big breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Whatever is going on in your life outside of this practice, this is your refuge. Take a belly breath in and a juicy breath out. One more breath with parted lips, holding your child's pose. Inhaling through your nose. And exhaling through your mouth. Maintain your child's pose, seal your lips. Continue to lengthen your spine and your arms forward. Weighting down the hips toward the heels. Creating that ocean-like sound of breath, inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the nose. One more time, clear intentions this evening. What are your priorities? What's calling your awareness? And if your eyes are closed, go ahead and blink your eyes open, pass through your tabletop pose. Legs about hips width, arms a little wider than shoulders width for where we're going today. Keep your spine long and grow your right leg back, attaching the ball of your right foot to the floor. Stretch out your right calf. So your left hip may drift forward and back of the left knee. And then from there, stack the knee over the hip again or the hip over the knee. And then the back right foot goes flat. Modified side plank, sternum down, belly in. Maybe grow your right leg parallel to the floor. You can hold your right leg out, or you can inhale knee in towards your ribs. Exhale, right leg back to extend behind you. Two more times, inhale, curl the knee in. Maybe you could just hold. Exhale, shine the right heel back. One more time, inhale, pull the knee in. Exhale, extend your right leg back. Square off through the hips, back to your half sunburn, but keep your arms wider than shoulders width. Left arm forward, opposite hand and foot, reach forward and back. Left arm down. Rise to your right fingertips, keep the hips squared. So I see a lot of people wanting to open up back to that modified side plank in order to shine the right arm forward. If you need to, keep both hands down, but please don't open up that right hip or dump into your left side. Take one more inhale. Exhale, both hands down, both knees down. Pull your hips to the right. Sway your hips to the left. And we'll come into the left side. You stay as you are. I'm going to flip around just for a visual. Left leg goes straight. Ball of the foot attached to the floor. And then maybe soft forward and back. This is also a nice prep for your shoulders and your chaturangas. And when it feels right, back left foot goes flat. Right chin and right knee stay down. Right palm down. Left arm up. Stay here or float your left leg parallel to the floor. 
Stay here or maybe pulse. Inhale, left knee in. Ooh, this side is a little different. She's a little more resistant today. So I'm gonna give her a little more luck, right? A little more patience. Yeah. How's your left side feeling? How's that left side responding? Back through your floating tabletop or side plank. And then from here, we'll come back through the half sun bird. Right arm forward. Start opposite leg and arm. Ahead and back. Keep squeezing your belly in. Right arm down, slightly over to the right. Give yourself some space. Keep lifting out of your right hip socket. Rise to your left fingertips and then maybe reach your left arm forward. Left waist stays down. Two. One beautiful handy foot back down to the floor. Let's take one cat stretch, belly in, spine up. And then drop your belly down, shine your heart forward, maybe gaze up. Exhale, tuck your toes right into down dog. Any sways, wiggles, or movements that feel good here, take them. We'll pause for three. Two. One. Weight your heels down. They may touch the floor, they may hover. Activate your quads on your thighs. And as you pull your tailbone up, imagine if you could draw your thighs towards your ribs while lengthening the heels to the floor. All right, so you're giving your limbs a big stretch in multiple directions. And then from there, keep length in mind. Inhale, forward plank. Exhale, back to down. Smooth transition, forward plank. Exhale to dog. One more, inhale, forward plank. Exhale, hips back up to dog. Moving on, heels high. Look ahead. Exhale, take as many steps as you need to to make your way to the top of the mat. Legs at least hips width. Inhale, pull your heart forward, halfway up. Exhale, drop back into your fold. Inhale, rags on your way up to standing. Take your time. Arrive to your exalted mountain pose. Reach up, look up. Try to touch the ceiling or sky. And as you exhale, carry that energy back into your heart, whatever it is you need to replenish from the day and week thus far. Get into your flow, two full sun A's. Inhale, reach up, lift up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, heart out. Exhale, fold. You choose step back in plank or hop back, chaturanga. Lower down with strength. First back bend, cobra, or get your hips up, up dog. Downward facing dog. Belly breath in, smooth breath out. One more on your own. I'm gonna check in with comments to make sure I didn't miss anything from you. Heels up, look forward. Exhale, step or hop in between your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, deep back into your fold. Inhale, rise up, lift up. Exhale, pause, hands to chest. Let your body move, inhale up. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold, step back or shoot back, chaturanga. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, hips up, down dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Throw heavier in your heels. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Legs mat swift. Make a box around your head with your arms. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, straighten your legs. Two more, inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, straighten your legs. One more, inhale, bend your knees, a little or a lot. Exhale, your legs toward your version of straight. Switch the overlap of the arms, so different forearm on top. Pull your forearms in the crown of your head forward, flat back. 
Maintain that flat back like shape. Bend your knees, inhale. Straighten your legs, exhale. Two more, inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. So you're framing your head with your biceps. One more time, bend. Straighten, hands down, release. Walk it out to that wide leg plank. Pause there. One time, lift your right leg a foot or an inch, keeping your hips and your shoulders square to the floor. Exhale, right toes down. Second side, keep sucking that belly up and in. Lift your left leg an inch or a foot. Heart forward, shoulders down. Left toes down. Exhale, down dog. Maybe you're feeling that heat. Breathe into it, legs back to hips lift. Here we go, dog split, right leg up. Square off to the hips to start. Shake your head yes and no. Back your neutral spine, open up the hip with a straight or bent knee. Lift your left heel high as your right heel throws out and up. And then exhale, pull your right knee forward towards your right wrist. Inhale, back to your dog split. Left heel could ground or float. Exhale, right knee, right elbow, a little higher. Oh, man. One more time. Inhale, throw that right leg up and back. Exhale, right knee, right tricep or armpit. Moving along, right leg goes back. Dog split. Close the hip. Step it through. Warrior one. Catch your breath. Left waist forward, hip bones lifting up. Arms to the sky, framing your face with your biceps again, please. Take one more inhale, feel your belly, your sternum, and maybe your gaze lifting up toward the ceiling or sky. And then exhale, we'll open up warrior two. I like the heel toe the front foot to center with the back left arch. Settle in. Stand up over two straight legs. One time, arms up, gaze up. Keep your legs straight, spread your arms again, forward and back. Coming into a reverse triangle. But I don't want you to just shift back, right? I want you to think about pulling the ribs up and then finding a little cascade of the left and right shoulders step as you reach back through your right fingertips. Revealing your right ear, so you don't want that right shoulder coming up. Right shoulder down. Whew. Take one more inhale. Exhale up and over to your triangle pose. If you have a block, use it. Right hand meets the block, shin or floor. Left arm up, shine that left chest up, open up. And then last breath, lengthen out of your bottom right ribs. Keeping a soft bend of both knees to protect your joints. We'll inhale all the way back up through our warrior two legs. This time with the bent right knee, reverse your warrior. And then exhale, clear your space, take your vinyasa or skip it, your body, your practice. First round, take a big breath in your down dog. Exhale, side of breath. Back to your ujjayi breathing, left leg up, dog split. Squaring off with the hips to start. A little nod of the head, yes. A little circle or shake of the head, side to side. From there, dog split with the external hip. Right, so the heel's still going straight out and up, but your toes get to point to the left here, and then maybe you releve that right heel. Right, you lift that right heel high, see how that feels? And then shoulders forward, left knee, left wrist. Two more to play with, inhale, left leg up and back. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. One more, inhale, grow your left leg back. Exhale, tap left knee, left tricep or armpit. Get the heel and the knee up. 
Inhale, kick back. Close off to the hip. Step it through, big step forward. Warrior one, forward facing warrior. Shoulders, ribs, hip bones, extending ahead. Arms up, open up, warrior two. Try to keep that left thigh bone low in your warrior two as you reach forward and back. And then take that energy from the ground up, straighten both legs, reach up, look up. And as you exhale, spread your arms again. Right arm down by your side, left arm up and back. And remember that feeling of lift, just cascade to arc back in your side stretch. Inhale up and over, triangle pose, block, shin, or hand to the floor for support. Open up your right chest. Lengthen out of those bottom left ribs. One more inhale. One more exhale. Please your belly to lift back up, warrior two legs, reverse your warrior. Exhale, vinyasa, hands to the floor, all toes back, lower with strength. Heart bend, back bend with grace. Oh. Exhale, down dog. Picking up the pace. We're going to flow that. One breath per movement. Remember, your breath determine your pace. So you might move a little faster or even a little slower than me. Walk your hands back towards your feet. This time, heels in, toes out. We're going to come all the way to a Malasana Yogi squat. Interlace your hands. Flip the heels of the hands inside out. Lift the inner arches of both of your feet and use your inner thighs and outer hip flexors to open up the hips a bit more. We're going to inhale all the way up, stand up and let your arms reach up to the sky. I know you're losing some of my arms there, but they're reaching up. Exhale back to your squat, arms forward. It's a little coordination here. You're going to stand up, arms go up. Exhale, Malasana, arms forward. Just two more. Inhale, stand. Exhale, open. Inhale, stand. Exhale, open those hips. Hands down, forward fold. Step or hop your legs in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, walk it out, plank pose. Chaturanga. Inhale, back bend. Exhale to dog. Right leg goes back, inhale. Exhale, right knee, right wrist. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, right leg back. Exhale, right knee, right armpit. Inhale, right leg back. Square off to the hips. Exhale, step it through. Forward facing warrior. Exhale, warrior two. One time, root down to rise and look up. Exhale, spread your arms away. Inhale, reverse that triangle. Exhale to your triangle pose, any spice, flavor, or additions. Inhale, all the way up and back, reverse. Exhale, hands down to the floor, low lunge. Plank pose, pause. Left arm forward and down. Right arm forward and down. Two more sets. Left, right. Left, right. Inhale, hold. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, dog. Left leg up, inhale. Left knee, left wrist, exhale. Smooth extension, left leg back. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. One more, left leg goes back. Exhale, left knee high up the left arm. Inhale, left leg back. Close off to the hip. Step it through. Warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, stand up, look up. Exhale, look forward. Inhale, reverse your triangle. 
Exhale up and over to your triangle pose. Inhale, reverse it. Exhale down to the mat. Plank pose. Three more sets. I widen the stance of my legs a little bit. Then I reach my right arm forward and down. Left. Two. Alternating. One. Inhale, set your plank. Elbows back, John Harlington. Inhale, back bend. Pike those hips up, down dog. Belly breath in. Smooth breath out. Let's give the hands a little break. Hands back toward the feet. Step on the palms of the hands with the soles of your feet. And I like to wiggle my toes into my wrists. A little massage there of the heel of your hands and wrists. And then just one time so we don't lose that momentum. Flat back, heart forward. Exhale, fold. Release the hands from beneath the feet. Widen the stance of the legs, mat width. Interlace the elbows, forearms, step. And we'll repeat. Bend your knees as you inhale. A little or a lot. Straighten your legs through the exhale. Two more times. Bend your knees. Straighten your legs. One more, bend your knees generously. Exhale, straighten your legs. Switch the interlacing of the forearms. Flat back, core is gonna hold you up. Frame your head with your hands. Three times, bend a lot. Exhale, your legs to straight. Two more, inhale. Legs towards straight, they may not get there, all good. One more, bend your knees. Exhale, straighten your legs. Hands down, step or hop your legs toward each other. Vinyasa, we'll take a flat back. Exhale, fold, walk it out. You could park and dog or plank pose. Chaturanga, heart up. Hips up, down dog. Last round, here we go. Right leg up and back. Open up the hip. Exhale, right knee, right wrist. Stay with me, couple more. Right leg goes back. Right knee, right elbow. And imagine if you were drawing a line with the heel and the knee, how smooth or choppy would those lines be? Pause with the knee to the tricep. Just three times, knee goes down to the wrist. Knee comes up to the tricep. Two, up. One, knee up. Inhale, dog split again. Close the hip. Step it through. I'm gonna switch a room. Warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Straighten your legs, look up. Spread the arms. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, come into that triangle pose. Pulling the heart forward, left arm up and maybe overhead. Inhale, back to reverse. We're warm and ready. Half moon as you exhale. Left hand and hip if you need it. Right hand or block. The foot ahead of the right pinky toe, left leg up, left arm up, maybe. We've got three, two, am I cut off? Oh, there I am. Last one. All right, just like we did when we were on the right shin earlier in the practice, we're going to pull the left knee in toward the ribs. Yeah, see how that feels. Exhale, send it back again. Two more. Inhale, pull the knee in. Strengthen that left glute, extend the left leg back. Just one more. Inhale, pull her in. Exhale, send her back. Float step back, warrior two. As graceful as you can be in the landing. Take that moment, settle. And then we change the shape again, reverse it. Exhale, hands down to the floor. Yep, those plank variations again, but if you want to take them on the forearms, all good with me. Left arm, send it forward or float it. And back, right arm. Two more sets. One more set. Take your vinyasa, maybe modify it to a sphinx pose. Tabletop. Into down dog. That felt really nice to me. Let's take one breath in between right and left sides. Inhale. 
exhale. All right, left side, here we go. Left leg up and back. Exhale, left knee, left wrist. Remember, draw those smooth, not choppy lines. Left leg goes back. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. It's smooth, left leg goes back again. Exhale, left knee, left armpit. Three times, guide your knee down. Lift your knee up. Two, knee down, knee up. One more, knee down. With a little fire, knee comes up. Smooth it out, left leg back. Close the hip. Step it through, warrior one. Open up, warrior two. Stand up tall, reach up, look up. Spread your arms. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, all the way up and back to reverse. Left hand to the floor or block. Half moon, second side. You can start with your right hand on your right hip if you need or want to. Feel the inner thigh of your right leg growing the leg out and up. And then be bold as you stack your hips and your shoulders. Like your belly in, sternum down. You're gonna hold here or three times, inhale, knee to ribs. Exhale, extend the leg. Two, inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. For those of you in LA with me, this external heat is really enhancing my practice. If you're in a place that's maybe a little cooler in climate, you gotta use those Ujjayi breaths. Or maybe some days turn up the heat. Whatever it is you're feeling in your body, take in one more moment that internal and external heat, your body opening up, growing and expressing in the shape. And then float step back, warrior two. Inhale, reverse it. Exhale, we'll meet, forearm plank or plank on the palms. Last few taps for reaches, right arm, left arm. Two more sets. Keep your inner peace and equanimity even when it's challenging, when you're feeling that external heat. So we're here on the palms or the forearms now. Meet me on the forearms if you're still on the palms. Last little push, walk your toes forward. Dolphin leg pose. And then walk your legs back to your forearm leg. You're gonna repeat that about five times or you're going to hold a version of because you get to choose. Some of you are going to take this opportunity for a forearm stand or maybe a headstand. We haven't done a lot of back bends today, so if you want to get upside down, I'd recommend a headstand, keeping a neutral spine. If none of that speaks to you, remember you're going to hold your dolphin or you're going to hold your forearm plank for another two, for another one. Let's meet in a sphinx pose, hips down, kneecaps up, toes are pointing back. Take a moment, let your shoulders shrug up towards your ears. Feel how that is kind of, I don't know, it just doesn't feel good, right? And then push your shoulders away from your ears. That might feel better, it definitely does for me. Palms down, look over to your right. Pass back through center, look over to your left. Gaze back through center and reach your arms forward. Make a big V-like shape with your arms and then bring your heels in and your toes slightly up. Right, so it's like a first position or like a little duck kind of legs opening up the toes. And as you inhale, lift the forehead and the chest up. Lift the feet up, maybe the kneecaps and the thighs lift too, and then add a little flutter of your legs. And we'll keep fluttering for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One, arms up, Superman arms or Superwoman arms, five. Keep fluttering your legs, four. Three, two, one, flutter everything, 10. Nine, eight, keep your breath smooth, six, four, two, keep swimming. Last one, let it go. One cheek down, cactus the arms out or use your hands as a pillow. Relax your legs. Breathe in. Breathe out. Opposite cheek down to the floor. Three more breaths. Beautiful work thus far. Take a few sweet moments of inactivity and rest. And we'll come into one deeper back bend while we're here face down. Think cobra like hands to set yourself up, pulling the right heel in. And maybe you take your right hand to the outer right ankle or foot. I'm already feeling a nice opening in my right quad once I do that. A little lift of the thigh feels amazing. Left hand back towards your left ankle or heel. Flex through the heels and the toes. Protect your knees. And if the knees are extending wider than hips width, your main work here is to keep the knees magnetizing into center. Plug your shoulders down. Push the foot into the hands. Notice that's going to give you a little more lift and a little shoulder opening. And then you're going to have a few breaths to explore your bow pose. Five. Four. This is too much. Keep it into a quad stretch. You could even have the chin or forehead down. Last couple breaths. Exhale, legs back, hands down, push back, child's pose. And hopefully in this moment, your body is feeling sweetly fatigued. Notice your chi, your energy, force, those tingles, those sensations passing through the body. And maybe after all that work you just poured into your physical being, your mind is too sweetly fatigued to race into a space outside of this moment, outside of this practice. But wherever you're at, please don't judge it. Be fully present and fully accepting of you in this moment. Take in another couple breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Big belly breath in. Steady breath out. Maybe back in a tabletop pose. And I want both of your knees and shins to be on your mat not on a hard surface, right? So if you're on a mat, blanket, or towel, make sure both your knees are gonna stay there for your frog, right? So both legs are on the mat. Now I'm gonna spin so you can see my body in the frog pose. So I see a lot of this happening in frog, hips behind knees and hips forward of knees. And frog, the idea here is, first of all, to keep that belly firm and spine long, your knees in alignment with the hips and your knees also in alignment with the heels as you start to walk it out. Once again, one of my legs is on the wood, yours shouldn't be. You should definitely be supporting and cushion. Keep that 90 degree angle from hip to knee, knee to heel, and keep your spine long and belly engaged. Otherwise, you're coming out of alignment, you might hurt yourself. We don't want to do that, right? Gentle stretch with a Big, expansive shape, but a gentle approach. So, frog pose, we're going to pause here for about eight to ten breaths. So we're going to take some time. If you need a block or something under your forehead or forearm so your head isn't dangling, 
Call in the troops, take the support you need. Keep your heels and toes flexed. You want to protect your knees as you let gravity pull your inner thighs and hips down toward the floor. Four more belly breaths in. And out. Three. Two. Last one, use the shape, open up the hips, lengthen your spine as you breathe in. Surrender, relaxing, gentle breath out. We're gonna be really careful here as we merge out of our frog pose. If you have props near you, go ahead and clear your space. Forearms down. Let your belly, your lower abs, start to pull the hips up. And then guide your knees back toward each other. Maybe they touch. A really passive child's pose here. Round your spine, forehead down, maybe even your hands back towards your heels or toes. We worked really hard to find alignment and also open up the shoulders. So trust that that work is done. If you want to let your shoulder heads roll down for a couple breaths, if that feels good, go ahead and meet me there. Last couple breaths, rabbit pose feels good. You're going to walk your forehead a little closer towards your knees. My butt is kind of in the way here, but the idea here is to get the crown to the floor as you pull your hips up. So it's kind of like a cat-like feeling with the head all the way down to the earth. And being really careful with your neck and your cervical spine here. We'll meet back in a child's pose. Forehead down. Frame your knees with your hands, palms down. Collective breath in through your nose. And out through your mouth. Rags all your way up to seated on your heels. Let your palms rest lightly on your thighs. Close your eyes. Squeeze your elbows in close to your ribs. Shoulders down, inhale through the nose, exhale through your mouth, get comfortable, you're in your space, in the privacy of your own home or wherever you are, take a big audible breath in through your nose, filling from belly, heart, throat, all the way to your brain. And as you exhale, relax into your physical body with gratitude for the shape, the skin, the vehicle that you are housed in. Gently bring your eyes open. Float onto one hip. Swing the heels and toes forward. And you can meet me again with your positioning of the mat so that when you open up your legs, both heels are on the mat. If you need to take a moment to shift, please do. Today I'm taking my props with me in my forward fold. Legs stay active. Thighs, knees, toes point up. Toes point up. That was redundant, Denise, you get it right. But keep those legs open and active. And then heart forward. Maybe your props catch your arms or your head to make this more supportive, more of a restorative stretch. And as we took some time in our frog pose, we're gonna do the same here in our wide leg fold. Be 
Last couple breaths, maybe slightly deep in your stretch. Maybe the heels go a little wider. Maybe you feel another little intentional opening of the inner thighs as you surrender your heart and head forward. And carefully start to rise back up. Find an upright posture, clear your space. Start to close the legs, bend the knees. And then cocoon into a teeny tiny little ball of self. Reposition yourself, now toes close to the end of your mat. Soles of the feet down. Give yourself a tight squeeze. And then as you exhale, roll down just halfway. I always like to bring the awareness to our core throughout our practice. And then just the last little few moments of core awareness toward the end of practice. Keep your shoulder blades lifted. Stack your knees over your hips. We'll keep it simple here today, right leg up, your version of straight, left leg forward or grounded, palms meet, keep your shoulder blades lifted, index fingers over to the right, pausing here for just five, four, three, two, one, right heel down to the left toes, exhale, right leg up, just another four, Three, if you need less, drop the head. Two, one, legs up, come up and over and around to your left side, left leg stays up, right leg goes ahead, hold, five, four, three, two, one, five times, left heel goes down, left foot comes up, four, Three. Ooh, I didn't make it that one. Two, there we go. Ooh. Last one, tap those toes. Left leg back up, right leg up, reach, stretch. Shoulder blades lifted, last breath here, reaching towards your outer feet. Exhale, come in, let it go. Bend your knees. Lengthen your back body or your spine down to the floor, including your tailbone. Circle the ankles. Reverse the circle of those ankles. We've done a ton of hip openers today. So you're either going to finish off with another one to really seal the deal and happy baby. If your outer hips and inner thighs are like, I get it, I'm open, trust that. Keep your legs together and then just take a little twist. We haven't done any twist today, right? So maybe you need one. Maybe you need a set before you walk off your mat. So wherever your body wants to guide you, go there. We'll take about six more breaths in our physical practice. And then we'll land together in inactivity and rest because that is so important too. If you're with me in a twist over to one side, come back through center. Find your twist, balancing over to the other side. Taking another few opportunities to notice what your heart, your body, your brain, your being is communicating to you about you today. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath together here in our active practice. Inhale. Exhale. Either from your happy baby or your counter twist. Roll back onto your back, bring your knees and inner thighs to touch. This is it, everyone. Squeeze in, hold yourself close. Last active moment, active breath of your vinyasa flow today. And as you exhale, give yourself permission to rest your physical body. 
give your heart permission to open and to either release or replenish some days both and give your brain permission to calm and to relax. Carving out this time to strengthen and to restore. Shavasana. Final resting pose. Keeping your eyes closed, notice your responses to inactivity. Notice your responses and comfort level when asked to either rest or even receive. Sometimes it's really uncomfortable to receive gifts or compliments or support. But in this moment, just you, your breath, your mat and the divine energy flowing through you and available to you. Please, if you need more time, feel free to extend your Shavasana. For the rest of us, let's come back into soft wiggles of the fingers and the toes. Enjoy one last full body stretch. Exhale, cocoon back into a teeny tiny little ball of self, forehead to knees, knees to face, maybe tail and shoulder blades lifted. Exhale, press up or rock and roll your way into a cross leg seat facing the front of your space, the top of your mat. And as you sit up tall, stretch your arms out and back up toward the ceiling. Exhale, palms to touch right in front of your sternum, right in front of your heart center. Final breath to seal our time with each other, and most importantly, this time with yourself. Full breath in. Soft breath out. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Thank you for making time to share with me and each other. Until next week or next time, namaste.